This video was shot with a iPhone 10. It's 4K video at 60 frames per second. And I am using the iMovies on my iMac Pro. And this seems to come out pretty good at the 60 frames per second 4K video. And the reason I took this is because uh, my other Mac was giving me troubles and was starting to act a little crabby. So when I got this one at the Micro Center, uh, like I said, when I priced out an iMac, it cost me like $3,700. And for $4,000, uh, I could buy this one for $300 more. That didn't make any sense. So I just bought the iMac Pro, and it is upgradable, by the way. You can send the iMac Pro into OWC Larry's, which is in McHenry, Illinois, and uh, they will uh, put anything you want in it. If you want to go 125 of RAM, uh, they can put it in. In fact, uh, this has 32 gigs of RAM, but if I want to go 125 gigs of RAM, I could send this to OWC and they would literally put 125 gigs of RAM in for $600 less than what Apple is selling their upgraded RAM for. And of course you could do that with storage, you could do that with your, this has one terabyte, if I want to put two, three, or four terabyte in, I can. And I would save a considerable amount of money by doing that. That's the reason I got this. So I kept the box and everything because of that purpose. Of course, the micro center I bought it at uh, is out now. Apparently, they sold out of all those. But I uh, did also want to show you uh, in this video that shot in 4K is uh, the fish are doing well. Uh, in case you are new to this, this particular aquarium uses a anoxic filter with a plenum. And look how colorful this disc is. is. Very, very colorful. And this fish only gets one water change a month. And I would say that's maybe no more than 20 gallons because I have, it's a 50-gallon Starfire tank with a 16-gallon sump. And therefore, uh, about 20 gallons gets changed out of this once every 30 days. If you've been watching my videos, you know exactly how this tank has been set up. Uh, and the temperature is between 80 to 82 degrees. Now, I knocked it down quite a lot from the 84 to 85 degrees that it was because the plants seem to be doing better. But it seems to me that the discus does not need it that warm. Uh, doing perfectly fine at those temperatures. No problems with disease, nothing. I had a little mishap, if you watched my last video, where power went out. But this one recovered perfectly fine, is doing fine, um, easy to take care of. In fact, of all the years I've been taking care of fish, especially discus, this has been the easiest that I've ever had to take care of these fish. And apparently, I just don't see any problems with these fish. I think what it is, though, people, is you got to now use the right filtration with these. Yeah, you can go the route of doing a lot of water changes if that's the route you want to go. But I think uh, with the combination of what I'm using and plants and everything else just seem to be right for this particular fish to do fine. What you're watching now is slow motion. I thought I'd try it out with the camera to see how it came out. It came out okay. Not that good. A little bit of flickering. So it's not perfect, the slow motion from the iPhone 10. But uh, yeah, now for me, the format videos and render them and everything else it just seems to be going a lot smoother with the iMac Pro than it did with my old iMac. Of course, the old iMac was almost 10 years old. 
but uh, it is going smoother. Everything is quite fast now compared to that. Loading videos, moving videos, it just seems to handle it a lot better. But even this is supposed to be a higher resolution video right here. And being in slow motion, it does have flicker as you can see. So, and another thing you can see is the water and the lights. You see that rippling effect. Anyhow, these are pictures that a hobbyist sent me from Africa. This is an African cichlid tank, and it uses an anoxic filter only. And he sent me these a few years ago, and he set up this tank, and underneath is an anoxic filter to do his African cichlid tank. And, of course, he lives in Africa, and he just thought, I thought that you would like to see something like this, that... He was very happy with the results he's been getting. And as you can see, I don't see a lot of algae all over everything. So I don't know if that's, if he's been cleaning it. He didn't say a whole lot. But uh, he was very happy with the anoxic filter and his African cichlid tank. So that's something to think about. Well, until next time, see you later.